Daniela uh, Scalea, who is the founder and president of the Machiavelli Center for Political and Strategic Studies, as you might have guessed, in Italy. Uh, and if you're not familiar with the Machiavelli Center, it's been called the number one think tank for conservatives in Italy. Uh, also in Italy, the left uh, has uh, fully embraced the general ideology, so they are demanding for the uh, you know, official recognition of an individual perceived identity, for the criminalization of uh, dissenting views uh, under the guise of transphobia, uh, the cultural left, the leftist media are pushing gender uh, fluidity, especially among uh, the, the younger generations. Uh, the curious thing is that formally they have denied for years the very existence of a gender theory, uh, both because they think that their view is uh, uh, not just a theory but an objective truth, but also because they want to uh, reassure the, the moderate public opinion. Um, in fact, in Italy, the open followers of gender ideology are quite few in uh, the context of the general population, uh, but they are concentrated in politics, in the academia, in the media. Uh, unfortunately, even fewer are those who uh, openly oppose it. Um, that's why all this propaganda by, by the media, and in Italy, you should consider that Almost all the media on ethical issues are aligned with the left. That's true also for those of the Berlusconi family, for the public broadcaster. All this uh, uh, propaganda is managed to uh, succeed in uh, um, shifting toward, to the left year after year the boundaries of what is perceived uh, as common sense on gender by the majority of the population. For example, um, about a quarter of a century ago, a top, uh, top political leader, Gianfranco Fini, uh, declared that gay people shouldn't be allowed to teach uh, kids in school. And that notwithstanding, he managed to become uh, Speaker of the Chamber of Deputies, to become Foreign Affairs Minister. Such thing wouldn't be possible anymore today. Uh, after 25 years, more or less, according to public opinion surveys in Italy, 60% of the population support uh, same-sex marriage. We have same-sex uh, civil union in Italy, but not marriage. 50% uh, support adoption by same-sex couples. 40% support uh, surrogacy. And 10% declare an LGBTQ identity. This is not only because of uh, media uh, or the cultural industry. Uh, also the one of uh, US importation, Netflix, and so on. A major role has been played by schools. Uh, there are now in our schools uh, hundreds of projects that are pushing gender ideology to chi on children and teenagers. They are usually uh, hidden uh, in sex education, in training courses, uh, in theatrical performances, distribution of pamphlets. Uh, there are about 300 schools which have adopted the alias careers. And uh, when rec quite recently, in the Regional Council of Lombardy, that is one of the main region uh, administered by the center-right wing, uh, center-right coalition, uh, was proposed a motion against these alias careers. A part of that coalition voted against it, causing it to fail. So uh, gender agenda in Italy is advancing. And unfortunately, a part of uh, its enablers are also among our ranks. Currently, our conservative parties are engaged, committed, especially on two issues related to, to gender. One is to uh, avoid the criminalization of so-called transphobia. Uh, that was a big matter during the last term because the leftist majority in the parliament pushed for a bill that we managed to, to stop. The, the, this bill would have provided for uh, not only indoctrination in schools, uh, uh, but also the criminalization of transphobia, so-called transphobia, and even for uh, giving the judiciary the power to disqualify any politicians uh, deemed as uh, transphobic. So a sort of bilayeti faki with the uh, gender studies scholars instead of the mullahs. Uh, the other issue is surrogacy. The parliament is currently in the process to recognizing it as a universal crime. Surrogacy is already uh, banned in Italy, but uh, many same-sex couples just go abroad. They, they uh, buy a child with surrogacy, get back in Italy. 
and they usually obtain from a, a, a municipality uh, administered by the left the transcription of the birth certificate that is a form of recognition of uh, them as the parents of this, uh, this child. So the, this, is, this will not be any more possible with the revised law. So um, remind me, so the marriage in, um, in Italy, uh, they could have same-sex civil unions, but not marriage, is that right? And then how is, what is the definition of transphobia that they were trying to, uh, to outlaw? What, what, is, what does that word mean uh, for the left, transphobia? Well, in the, in the bill I mentioned, the definition was uh, not provided, really. Uh, it, there is just a, a, a vague mention to the, uh, you know, the, the perceived identity. So it, much better if not exactly defined, right? That's how all these things work. So um, I think that we shouldn't shy away from at attacking the fundamentals of this theory, making it loudly, especially when we are in government. So we have, uh, uh, you know, a position that couldn't be ignored also by the media.